What's up guys? My name is Mike. This is All Things Fish and thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you stopping by to see what you will hopefully learn today. Now, as you can see behind me, the 125 that you can have seen through various videos that I've posted before is starting to clean up quite nicely from a little algae problem that we had due to me being gone for a couple months for work. Now, the first videos that I made once a getting back from work, you saw that there were quite a few different algaes in here, but you can see now that it's starting to look a little better. Unfortunately, there are still a few problems that we need to fix. Let's take a look. Now looking at the tank, we have a variety of hair grass that's doing pretty well in here, some sems, some crypts. This big old sword is uh, showing a little signs of nutrient deficiency yet, but we'll get that tidied up. But the focus of this video is on this problem right here. We've got a little bit of black beard algae going on yet. Due to some inconsistency in nutrients and CO2, you can see here on this Helmalomano species, there's some down on the lower parts of the leaves. Back on that Bucephalandra, you can see a little bit there, some more there, and a few little bits and pieces scattered about. Now, what's the best way to treat this? My go-to treatment to get on top of any algae is manual removal. That means removing any leaves that are severely infected with the algae or potentially just trimming off little bits and pieces of tufts that you can take care of. But then we still have some stuff that's a little bit tougher to take care of. Now, what are we gonna do to fix this problem? Let's see. We got a little problem, which is the blackbeard algae, and we have my go-to solution to help clean things up and that's my friend hydrogen peroxide now at just 88 cents roughly a quartz depending on where you're at this is an extremely useful and extremely cheap tool that can be used to treat a variety of things today we're going to use it to treat blackbeard algae and here's what you'll need to accomplish this task all right Requirement number one to treat black beard algae with hydrogen peroxide using a spot treatment method is the need to use it at all, and that's black beard algae. And as you can see here, while it's scattered about and there's not a ton, there is some which calls for treatment for removal. So, step one, black beard algae. You've got the first part of the equation, and that's the black beard algae itself. Now, we need something to make it go away. And today, that's going to be hydrogen peroxide. Now, this is 3% hydrogen peroxide. You can use 6% if that's what's available for you. It's commonly found at various Walgreens, pharmaceutical stores, Target, Walmart, Safeway, Fairway, Hy-Vee, etc. So it is easy to find at dang near any grocery type store near you. It's also extremely affordable. At about a dollar a quart, one quart will last you quite some time if you're just using it for treating some algae in the fish tank. Fortunately though, this has a lot of other uses, such as, you know, nicks, cuts, scrapes, whether they're yours or your kids or maybe your dog got into a little tussle. But step two, hydrogen peroxide. If you've watched my previous video, like that video up there on how to treat an entire tank with peroxide. If you have a very severe algae outbreak of potentially multiple flavors, then you may add hydrogen peroxide directly to the tank straight out of the bottle. But that's not what this video is about, right? We're trying to fix a small algae problem using a spot treatment method. And in order to spot treat that black beard algae with hydrogen peroxide, we're gonna need one more thing, and that is a syringe. Now, a syringe works just fine for the application of the peroxide to the affected area, or you may use something like a turkey baster. But today, we'll use item number three, a syringe. All right, let's get down to the gist of it. We've got our algae in the tank, we've got our peroxide, and we have our application tool, a syringe. Now, for some people, your tool may fit in the container of peroxide just fine. For others, maybe it's a little bit too big. So we're just going to go ahead and pour some out into this little dish to make it easier to apply. And then, easy enough, we'll suck up a syringe full. 
And now we'll talk about actually applying it to the plant itself. All right, so we've got our syringe full of hydrogen peroxide. We found our blackbeard algae in the tank that we want to treat. We'll simply place the syringe near the affected area and give her a squeeze to start to dispense some of that peroxide around the affected plant to attempt to kill off that blackbeard algae. Now you might ask if this is dangerous to your fish or plants. I mean, it is killing off the algae theoretically. However, in such a low dose due to the large tank volume and a fairly small amount of peroxide, it's perfectly safe for your fish and plants in most cases. Now you might ask, well, why is it that it kills off the algae then? And this is because algae is such a simple organism with, you know, fairly few defenses and a very weak structure itself that the peroxide, which is a mild oxidizing agent, is able to kill off that blackbeard algae so that you can get the upper hand on it and start to get your tank all cleaned up. Once you're sure that you've treated all the affected areas that you'd like to treat during this hydrogen peroxide spot treat treatment, you're just about done. Once you're satisfied that you've adequately hit all the target areas with some hydrogen peroxide, the next step is simply just to wait. And you might ask, well, how do I know if I treated it enough? Well, in a day or two, you should start to see those areas of blackbeard algae that you treated with peroxide start to turn into a pink, reddish color, and eventually they'll slowly die off and fall away from the plant, leaving you with, hopefully, a fairly clean plant and no more algae problem. If, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like it worked, it's cheap enough and simple enough that you can hit it again and see if that helps. And that's that pretty simple process. We talked about the problem itself, which is blackbeard algae on your plants or potentially your hardscape. We talked about what we need to attempt to fix that problem. And that's the algae itself, a reason to treat, right? The hydrogen peroxide, and then an application tool such as a syringe or turkey baster. And then I walked through you <laughs> through the simple steps of actually applying the peroxide to the blackbeard algae. After that, it's more or less a waiting game as you watch the blackbeard algae slowly struggle to survive and eventually die off, leaving you with a clean tank and much more aesthetically pleasing scape to look at. Now, if you have any questions regarding this treatment, feel free to drop a comment below or message me at mike.allthingsfish at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you out, get you going in the right direction. Now, that's all for now. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. This has been Mike at All Things Fish. Adios.